So welcome back and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to assign a simple camera shake inside of a camera um, a camera actor in the sequencer. So what you can see here is a pretty simple scene setup and you can see that my camera is basically moving from left to right uh, in 150 frames. I can press the play button here in my sequencer and you can see live what is actually happening here. Now the question is how can you assign any kind of you know camera shake because obviously you can see here when you click on your camera component uh, on the plus sign that you can see there is a camera shake um, track option but as you can see it's empty and the thing is you need to fill this box up here and you need to create uh, camera shakes, you know, individual ones, as, as many as you want. Um, and once you created them, you uh, they will pop up here in this list and then you can select them and assign it directly to your camera. So this is going to be done uh, by using blueprints. And I'll show you in the next two or three minutes how you can actually do this and simple assign that. So in my content browser, I go to my blueprints and in here, I basically uh, click the right mouse button and click on blueprint class. And once you're here, you have to search for camera shake. Uh, sorry, let me retype this. And camera shake. So you find in here exactly the blueprint uh, camera shake. You select it and once selected, you can call it whatever. I call it for now is this is my walking camera shake okay so let's assume i'm walking or whatever and i have this shaky camera so once this blueprint is done you can clearly see it here and you can access the settings by double clicking it and when you double click it this is exactly what you see um, this is my walking you know camera shake as you can see and the first thing you have to specify is the oscillation or oscillation duration, however you want to pronounce it. And you know my English sucks, so ignore it. But it's basically the time frame. How long does this shake going to be, you know, uh, you know, uh, should be assigned the duration of it. And it goes into the in frames. So that means if I have 150 frames, this camera animation, I want to have it 150 frames. So you specify this. And then as you can see, this is very straightforward. You have pitch, you have a so-called amplitude, and you have the frequency. And you have then also jaw uh, and roll. And that basically gives you all the different you know, options you can basically assign camera shake to X, Y, and C, to position, to rotation. You can fade in, you can fade out, and so on. So this is pretty sweet. But I just want to show you the basics. So first of all, I basically set the duration to 150 and then maybe amplitude I say like 5 and the frequency is maybe 10 and you have to compile and save. So now this blueprint as a shake is kind of like setup. But still if you go back to your camera and you play it you can't see it because now you have to assign it to your camera component. So in this case, you go to your camera component in the sequencer, you click the plus sign on the track, go to camera shake. And now you see this list was before empty, but now there is your first camera shake and it's called, this is my walking camera shake. So you click it and now it's assigned to the camera. You can also see here the duration in the sequencer that this camera has the camera shake assigned. This is my walking camera shake and it goes from frame zero to frame 150. Now let's press the play button and let's see what's happening. And as you can see, yeah, it looks actually pretty good. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Now, of course, feel free. You can play around with all those settings and you can create as many different kinds of camera shakes. You know, you can fine tune them as you want. This is maybe a walking one, but you might want to create one on a boat, for an airplane, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you like it. And see you then in my next video tutorial, of course. And so far, so good. 
happy pixeling, happy retracing, and have fun creating whatever you create. Until next time, take care and talk to you soon. Bye bye.